last bow is the patch that brings with it the fire tank Nanami. No, not that Nanami. This one. That's right, from now on there will be two fire tank Nanamis, and here's why Starfarer far outshines her previous counterpart. First of all, Nanami Starfarer is significantly stronger and has more utility. That huge chainsaw can hit multiple times in one strike, which is perfect for shredding enemy shields. She also can pull enemies toward her, perfect for following up with a blast of fire damage from either Nanami herself or another party member. But it's not just about power. Nanami's new frame also comes with the latest quality of life perk in PGR, a feature known by fans as Time Stop. It's called Time Lag Calculation. This feature is very simple. During certain animations, such as Nanami's flashy signature move, the stage timer and QTE cooldowns will pause until the animation finishes. For all intents and purposes, this means outputting huge damage in an instant. Most content in PGR is a race against the clock, so being able to pause the stage timer is absolutely invaluable. Keep in mind that when your skills are frequently pausing the stage timer, it can add a lot of real-world time to the fights, making a two-minute warzone run much, much longer. Fortunately, it gives a little breather during long animations and turns each fight into a spectacle where you'll really want to use your flashiest moves. Nanami Starfarer isn't the only character who gets this perk. Every debut s rank character from Nanami onwards will have time lag calculations somewhere in their kit. Only two older characters retroactively get it for their signature moves. Selena Capriccio and Liv Imperia. Did I mention Imperia also gets buffed this patch too? With a brand new tank and a souped up amplifier, the fire team is finally getting their long overdue redemption arc and we are here for it. Unfortunately, no other older S-rank Omniframes are scheduled to gain time lag calculation on any of their skills, which further widens the gap in power between them and their newer counterparts. Sorry Nanami Falls, no TLC for you. Nanami really shines when paired with the amplifier Liv Imperia. As for the third teammate, well, who that is depends on a few variables. See, the fire team is... complicated. While Nanami and Liv Imperia safely dominate the tank and amplifier roles, the third slot is a bit more up in the air. Here's a quick rundown of who will serve you best over the next several patches. When Nanami releases, the best fire team will ideally include Karenina Ember, or perhaps a well-invested Roland Flambeau. In the arc beyond, the very next patch after Nanami's, Lee Palefire receives his leap buff. Once upgraded, Lee outpaces his competition, an incredible feat for a humble A rank. At this point, the best fire team comprises Nanami, Liv, and an invested Lee Palefire. Remember, A rank Omniframes like Lee can be evolved to triple S plus rank for free over time. So start farming those interlude shards now. This version of the fire team will stick around for a long, long time until Lee outclasses himself with his new S rank frame. This won't happen until the Spiral of Kronos patch, roughly around December 2023. Check out greyravens.com for the ideal memory sets and more info, and build the fire team that's best for you. So, should you pull for Nanami Starfarer? Absolutely. Let's not mince words. Ooh. Nanami Pulse is quite dated, and her new mech riding frame is a welcome addition to the fire team. Even if you aren't the biggest Nanami fan, her skills will enable your entire fire team to deal more damage, so bring her aboard for the sake of Lee and Liv. While it's true that Nanami Pulse will receive a leap buff far into the future, all the way in the Chaos on Snarled patch, even with her buff, she still won't be as strong as Starfarer. For the duration of her last bow, she's 100% guaranteed, within 60 pulls or fewer, so this is the best time to get her. That's 15,000 BC, but you only need one copy to make her viable. And don't forget, you can always earn free Phantom Pain Scars to buy her shards, which will get her to double S rank without needing to pull a second copy. Of course, meta isn't everything and new players may not have enough BC to drop on her. So, while she's not scheduled to be on any free S rank selectors for at least another year, rest assured you can always try and get Nanami later when she eventually comes back on the Arrival banner or, even better, on one of the 100% rate up banners such as the Anniversary or Wishing Target banners. If you have some BC to spare, you might want to expand your Uniframe roster as well. And to help you decide if you should, you'll need to check out this video. And here's why Starfarer fa 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 f